In this session, we are going to implement or we are going to execute a BFS algorithm on a given graph and we shall trace that how these nodes are getting traversed in BFS algorithm. See, so we are having this particular graph, it is having 8 nodes are there, so n is equal to 8 and obviously this graph cannot be fed to this particular algorithm directly, so that is why this is the adjacency matrix representation of this particular graph. You know that in case of adjacency matrix, we are having n number of columns and we will be having n number of rows and we know that node number 1 is adjacent with 2, 3 and 4. So, node number 1 is adjacent with 2, 3 and 4. So, at this 2, 3 and 4, this against this particular columns, I am putting 1 and rest of them I put zeros. So, in this way, this adjacency matrix we have formed. Okay, now see. So, procedure BFS search G, G is the graph. So, this graph has been put. For each V belongs to N, do mark of V is equal to not visited. So, which, which we did earlier in case of our uh, DFS algorithm also, same thing. So, let us suppose this is my mark array and it has got initialized with not visited for all 8 locations. So, in this particular for loop, it has been done. Next. For each V belongs to N, for each V belongs to N, if mark of V is not equal to visited, let us consider that first I am taking the source vertex as 1. So, mark of 1 is not equal to visited. So, BFS 1. So, now it is being called as BFS 1. So, this V is 1 right now. So, Q is equal to MTQ, mark of V is equal to visited. So, that means this particular at node number 1 of this mark array, I am making this one as visited. Okay, next, in Q, V into Q. So, now what will happen? This Q will have the value 1. The Q will have the value 1. While Q is not empty, no, Q cannot be empty because we have just inserted, entered 1 value 1 in the Q. U is equal to first of Q. So, this one is Q. So, this one is the U. And this particular one has been deleted from the queue. So, that is why I have just erased this one. So, it has got deleted from the queue. For each node W adjacent to U do. So, that means one is having the adjacent nodes like your 2, 3, 4. So, if mark of for each node W adjacent to U, that means node number 2, 3 and 4 separately we will be handling. If mark of W is not equal to visited, then mark of W is equal to visited and NQW into Q. So, that means that this 2 will be inserted and 2 will be made as visited, 3 will be inserted, 3 will be made as visited, 4 will be inserted and 4 will be made as visited. So, now you see the Q is not empty. So, this while will continue. So, U is equal to first Q. You know that Q is a data structure which is first in, first out or last in, last out data structure. So, the first item inserted was 1. So, the, it has got deleted. The next item inserted was 2. Now, now it is high time to delete 2 from the Q. So, this 2 has got deleted. So, this 2 is now U. DQ U from Q. So, 2 will get deleted. And for each node W adjacent to U do, just let me check whether 2 is having any other adjacent nodes. So, we are having this 5 and 6. 3 is already visited, but 5 and 6 are not visited. So, I shall insert 5. I shall make this one visited. I shall insert 6, I shall make this one visited. It is written there. If mark of W is not equal to visited, then mark of W is equal to visited. I am doing the same. And NQW into Q, and I am doing the same. Okay. So, now in this way, the process will be carried out. So, 3 will come out. 3 has got any adjacent nodes, which is whose mark location is not equal to visited. I am not finding anything, because all of them are visited already. So, 3, so 4 will, 3 will come out and then 4 will come out. So, 4 is having 2 other nodes 7 and 8 who are not visited in our mark array. So, I shall put this 7 and I shall make this one visited. I shall put this 8, I shall make this one visited. So, from where did I get? I get it from adjacent to 4, node number 4. So, now 5 will come out. There is no other nodes are there pending which is 
uh, equal to whose mark location is uh, is equal to not visited so that's why 6 will come out 7 will come out 8 will come out and the queue will become empty so when the queue will become empty this while cannot continue so it will return the control to this caller function so that is uh, bfs search so now here for each v belongs to n this particular for loop will go on executing because initially it worked with 1 now it, it will work with 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 but it didn't find any vertex v whose mark of v is not equal to visited because all of them have visited so this particular algorithm will be terminated and see the sequence in which the nodes have got traversed and obviously this sequence is quite different from that sequence which you obtained in our earlier videos for the dfs algorithm so it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so in this way it is being done so there is a breadth wise there is a breadth wise traversing so i think now the conception is clear to you and uh, regarding the algorithm and how does this algorithm execute and we have applied this algorithm on a given graph and we have seen the tracing and now we have got the node sequence for the bfs algorithm so this bfs and dfs algorithms can be used to calculate the number of components in a given graph so please watch the next video where we'll be discussing how this bfs or the dfs algorithms can be modified to some extent so that it can calculate the number of components in a given graph please watch the next one thanks for watching this video